Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Monday, September 19th, and today we are talking about more about the benefits of being a child of God. Yesterday, we kind of um, had a message that was quite a bit different from others in that it didn't have any scripture. It talked about the meaning and the power of the word amen, and the fact that we are, um, we are children of God that we do belong to him, we did give our life to him, that's why we're able to have those amazing dynamic prayers and know that we can go to him with that faith. Today we're talking about his protection, the way he overlooks things for us, the way he um, not overlooks like and he ignores things, but the way he, he looks out for us and he cares for us. So let's pray. Lord, as we read this psalm, I ask that you really open our minds and open our hearts. Let us feel your loving arms wrapping us up in your embrace. Let us know that you're there with us through the hard times. You're there with us through the victories. You're there with us on just a day that's just a normal average day. You're always there caring for us and protecting us. We praise you for that. We thank you for that. And we ask that we keep those God goggles on our face so that we can be aware of those opportunities to tell others about you. In Jesus' name, amen. <coughs> Excuse me. So as I said, um, we're going to be in Psalm 91. And this is like the classic go-to chapter in the Bible where you want to go to if you want to read about God's protection. And there's just so much in here. And it says, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. So let's think about this. Who dwells in the shelter of the Most High? Well, first of all, who's the Most High? That's God. Who dwells in that shelter? It is the children of God, the people who have given their life to Christ. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. When you're saying that, what you're proclaiming is, this is where my refuge is. This is where my fortress is. This is where I'm safe with God because he's the one that I trust. Verse three, for I will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from deadly pestilence. And now if you look this up, what the fowler is, is um, uh, it's a person that catches animals. Deadly pestilence is um, disease. You are delivered from that. And you can claim that in your prayers. And I, I think maybe tomorrow, if we haven't finished this psalm yet, we'll finish it tomorrow. And then maybe the next day, we'll go through and I'll show you how you can pray this. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckle, a buckler. So right there, he will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. Imagine a huge mighty bird spreading out his wings and you're under those wings being protected. Now we've got the shield of faith in Ephesians 6. His faithfulness is a shield. There's no doubt that that's, that's on purpose. The Holy Spirit guided this um, author <coughs> to write this just as he guided Paul to write about the shield of faith. You, and then you have the belt of truth. The buckler is the belt of truth. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at new day, noonday. So that's a lot of things that you're not going to have to worry about. You don't have to worry about the terror at night. You don't have to worry about the pestilence. You don't have to worry about destruction that wastes at the new day. You don't have to worry about the arrow that flies at night. Verse 7, a thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. So you may see everyone around you falling, but it's not going to come near you. Why? Because you gave your life to Christ and you are under his care. You will look only with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you. No plague come near your tent. So what that's saying is because you belong to God, you have this benefit of this protection. For he will command his angels concerning you 
to guard you in all your ways. So he's sending out angels to guide you and to protect you. On their hands, they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone. So those angels are there to lift you up and pick you up so you don't stub your toe on a stone. Now that's very figurative right there. But we need to be aware of the fact that that means that when you are about to put yourself in a place that is a place of peril, you are protected from that. You're protected from it because those angels are, have been sent out to protect you. All of this is your benefit as a child of God. Now we're going to stop here. We'll finish Psalm 91 tomorrow. And then I'm thinking that the next day I'm going to model for you how to pray Psalm 91 over yourself and over your family. Um, as you go into your prayer closet today, praise him for that protection. Make yourself aware of that protection. Maybe make a list of the times that he's protected you and you knew it. Because it's, there's, we all have those moments. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.